welcome back to Tried, Tested, and True Instant Pot Cooking, where I give you instant pot inspiration and confidence. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my absolute favorite, amazing, oh gosh, I'm like salivating just thinking about it, the best recipe for hot and sour soup you have ever had in your entire life. This hot and sour soup that we're gonna make today is nothing like you've ever had before. It is thick, hearty, warm, sour, spicy. Oh, it seriously is the best. Okay, let's jump into this recipe. For this recipe, you will need one medium chicken breast, finely minced, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of meating, and half a teaspoon of white pepper. That is for our marinated chicken. The other ingredients you'll need are six cups of chicken broth, one ounce of dried wood ear mushrooms, one cup sliced carrots, one cup finely sliced bamboo shoots, one cup sliced shiitake mushrooms, seven ounces of enoki mushrooms, one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of grated fresh ginger, nine and a half ounces of medium firm tofu, two eggs, one stalk of finely sliced green onions, three tablespoons of sesame oil, half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of white vinegar, two teaspoons white pepper, one teaspoon sugar, and a quarter cup of cornstarch. And I like to top each bowl with additional sesame oil, finely sliced green onions, and white pepper. First, take one ounce of dried wood ear mushroom and reconstitute it in two cups of warm water. We just want it to kind of rehydrate and get nice and big and squishy all over again. And usually I would do this just like, I would just throw the dried stuff into the Instant Pot, but this one needs to reconstitute a little bit more and we have to kind of rinse it off. So that's why we're gonna do it separate. We don't want any dirt or grit in our soup. After they've soaked for about 30 minutes, we're just going to rinse them off and then cut out any really dry or hard parts. And then I like to lay them on top of each other, roll them up, and then slice them into thin strips. Next, we're going to marinate the chicken. So first, take one large chicken breast and mince it into really fine pieces. We want them really small, not like paste obviously, but just little tiny bits that are gonna float in through the soup. To this, we're gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of meating, or you can just use like a little bit of sugar water if you want, or omit if you don't have it. One tablespoon of soy sauce, and one half teaspoon of white pepper. Now just mix that up until it's nice and covered and then set aside while we prepare our vegetables. Wash and slice all your other vegetables and then we are going to just dump everything in the Instant Pot. It's so nice, it's like seriously the easiest soup ever. First, we're gonna add in our sliced and cleaned wood ear mushrooms. If you can't find these, just find them on Amazon or you can find them in an Asian grocery store. Also, if you can still hear a lisp, it's because I had mouth surgery and yes, I just sound like this, so sorry about that. After the wood ear mushrooms, do one cup of sliced shiitake mushrooms, one cup of sliced carrots, one stalk of finely diced green onions, one cup of finely sliced bamboo shoots, and I like to get the baby ones, the baby young bamboo shoots, they're just way more tender. And lastly, seven ounces or one package of sliced enoki mushrooms. Next, add on the marinated chicken that we had from before, one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of freshly grated ginger, and six cups of chicken broth. Here's a pro tip. Just take your whole knob of fresh ginger and scrape the skin off with a spoon. You can also use like a vegetable peeler, but I like using the spoon method and then just grate it up with a little microplane or grater. I always have fresh ginger on hand, but I don't always keep it in the fridge. I just keep it wrapped up in a little baggie in the freezer and then I just peel it and grate it frozen. Now give that a stir and then we're gonna put the lid on the Instant Pot, turn the knob to ceiling and cook on manual high pressure for five minutes. A hot and sour soup has two parts, right? The hot and the sour. So the hot actually isn't like a spicy heat, it actually comes from white pepper. So you need to have white pepper for this recipe. And then the sour comes from the vinegar in the soup. So hot and sour, you have to have white pepper and vinegar in order to do this. So while the soup is cooking, we are going to mix together in a separate bowl, half a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of cornstarch, half a cup of white vinegar, 
one teaspoon of sugar, and two teaspoons of white pepper. Just whisk that up until the cornstarch is completely dissolved. Now that the soup is done, let's do a quick release and then open the lid. And we want to bring this up to a boil. So turn the Instant Pot to high saute and bring the soup back up to a boil. Since it's already so hot, this shouldn't take very long. We want to make sure it's completely boiling. So then when we pour in that cornstarch slurry, the soup will thicken really nicely. So while stirring the soup, just pour in that cornstarch slurry right into the soup until it's completely incorporated. Then turn off the Instant Pot. Using the same cup that you had the cornstarch slurry in, crack two eggs and beat them up really well. Without stirring the soup, just drizzle in those eggs ever so gently in long, nice threads. Don't stir, otherwise it will just get cloudy. We want those long, beautiful ribbons of egg floating throughout the soup. So just pour them in in a circular motion and make sure the heat is turned off. After the eggs, add half a block or about nine and a half ounces of sliced tofu right in. It just needs to warm up a little bit so we don't need to cook it and make sure it doesn't fall apart or anything. Don't stir too too crazy and then we're just going to fold everything together so take your spoon and go to one side of the instant pot and just kind of pull the eggs towards the center and do that around the edges a couple times until it's all incorporated lastly add three tablespoons of sesame oil right into the pot and then you are ready to eat I like serving each individual bowl with a little bit of extra white pepper and sesame oil and some green onion to garnish and it is the most delicious hearty, warm, comforting bowl of hot and sour soup you have ever had. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye.